Hey YouTubers! So today I'm going to show you what I think is one of the coolest DIY laser projects out there. I'm going to take this big broken computer and turn it into a burning laser. And this project is so awesome because it's resourceful, it's, it's really fun, and it's cheap. So I uh, hope you like today's video. So the parts for this build are actually really cheap. So I got this uh, broken computer for free. Then I'll be using this Axis module, this uh, LM317 chip, uh, this resistor, and that only costs a few bucks really. And then in the case that this computer does not have a DVD burner in it, I'll be using this uh, cheap laser diode. So yeah, it's a very cheap build. So I ripped apart the computer there, and uh, my computer did not have a DVD burner, which really isn't that big of a deal. But I, uh, I will be using that uh, power supply there, and of course those heat sinks, and then I'll find some other project for that fan in the uh, CD drive. Alright, I'm going to start by getting this uh, computer power supply working to my needs. So uh, I'm going to need a black wire, a, a green one, a, a red one, and a yellow one, and then really I can just clip the rest of them off, so I think I'll do that. Alright, so I tied the uh, green and black wires together to keep the power supply on, and then I uh, tested the uh, red and yellow wires there, and I have a potential of about 7 volts across those leads. So this uh, power supply is ready to go. So now I'm going to build the uh, driver here, which is really just as simple as soldering this 3 ohm resistor across these uh, two leads right there. And that's it. That was easy. So this is where the uh, positive output will go to the laser diode, and that is the input from the computer power supply. I went ahead and uh, strapped that heat sink I got from the computer to that LM317 chip, and then I soldered the yellow wire to the uh, LM317 input. So now that I'm done working on that power supply, I get to mess with the laser diode now. So for computers that do have DVD burners in them, they have this part in it that contains a laser diode. So all I gotta do is extract that laser diode. So this is what the extracted laser diode looks like. This is what we call an open can laser diode, and they're very, very fragile. They break really easily. So luckily I have a few extras on hand, because they're really cheap actually. So now I just press that laser diode into the uh, axis module, and I'm going to solder some leads from the laser diode to the uh, driver. So now the laser diode has some leads uh, attached to it, so now I just need to attach this to the driver. So now the laser is almost complete. I have the uh, yellow lead from the power supply going to the input of the driver, and then the output of that goes to the positive lead of the laser diode, and then the negative lead of the laser diode hooks up just directly to this uh, red wire here. So now all I have to do is strap it to the heat sink. Now to use this heat sink, all that needs to be done is to drill a uh, half inch hole straight through it. But to save myself a few minutes, I'm just going to use this other heat sink that I have already drilled through. So optimally, I could have added some thermal compound there, but it's not like it's going to be producing that much waste heat, so I'm not going to bother. So that's actually it. Uh, let me go grab my laser goggles and we'll power this thing on. So here's the laser powered on. As you can see, it's really powerful. It's, the power is probably about 250 milliwatts or so. You know, it's really crazy that you can build a laser like this for so cheaply and from such available parts. Alright, it's time to test this thing's burning ability. Here are a couple matches. Some flash paper. Some electrical tape. And some ferrocerium. So all in all, this is a pretty cool build. It's easy to make, it's cheap, it's resourceful. It's, it's a fun laser. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing.